deep breath in. Let your mind go into the ocean of the heart. Drop down into the heart center, center of your chest, which is the anhat, the unstruck sound. Feel the foundation that the unstruck sound sits on. Your base chakras. The anal, the sex, the navel. Forming the strong base of the triangle. And the heart is the apex. So rest in the apex and feel the strong base. Don't be distracted. Stay in the ocean of the heart. Bring all the thoughts of today, all the actions of today, and drop them into that ocean. One by one, as you identify what happened today and what your <coughs> thoughts were, bring them into the ocean of the heart. And feel the vastness of the ocean. There's no end. In every direction, there's just a vast depth, breadth, width. Bring your consciousness into that vastness. hands into prayer mudra at the heart, staying in that vast ocean. Breathe in a full complete yogic breath from the very base of the lungs, pushing the stomach out forwards. Bring the breath into the sides of the ribs and the back and the front of the rib cage. And finally, in the third and last stage, bringing your breath right up under your collarbone. And as you breathe out, just drop your lips open slightly, have a little hole and blow the breath out. Drop your shoulders, relax your body, open the heart, pull the shoulder blades apart, raise the chest. Make the chin parallel to the floor and keep breathing. Long, deep inhale, slow, controlled exhale. As you blow the breath out, visualize a golden thread going from your heart out into the universe, between your lips.
breathing deep right down into the base of the lungs, expanding as much as you can, forward, sideways and backwards, and breathing out from the heart, this golden thread that unravels out into the universe. Feel the connection when you take your deep breath in between the base of the lungs and the base of your triangle. Breathe into the base of the triangle. Filling right up to the apex and then breathing out from that point through a slight little hole in the lips. Your golden thread of consciousness, of awareness. Make it relaxed. And do one more long, deep, big breath. Unraveling your golden thread out into the universe from your heart. And then get ready to tune. And let's inhale to begin. Om. solid, pulling the anal, genital and navel muscles, pull your tummy muscles right deep into the spine, strengthening the base of the triangle. Exhale, and we'll do Mangala Charan, inhale to begin. Adure Name, Adure Name, Sature Name, Sidure Name. Adure Name, Sature Name, Sature Name, Sidure Name. Adure Name, Sature Name. Sadhure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name. Again, a deep breath in, holding the breath, tightening the root lock, the base of the triangle. Feel that base as you tighten the root lock, feel it right into your knees, your ankles, your lower legs. That root lock is pulling on those base limbs, chakras all the elements in your body there that are there, earth, water, fire, pulling them up towards the apex and up to the crown. Holding as long as you can if you're on your cycle, you do not hold your breath <coughs> or pull the clock. And So we don't pull root lock when we're on the cycle, when women are on their cycles, because you don't want the energy to go upwards. At that time, you're working with aphanic energy, the energy of release, the energy of elimination. So you don't pull that energy up, no? because you're working against the forces of your body. You allow that energy to be released, which is what we call apana, apanic energy. 
Pranic energy is what we are pulling in. Every time you take a deep breath in, you are inviting prana shakti. You're inviting the goddess of prana into your body. Every time you take a deep breath in, she comes in on this dragon and she fills your lungs with power and energy. Every time you breathe out, you are releasing, you're allowing your body to settle further, deeper into itself. And you're inviting the powers of consciousness and awareness. On every inhale and every exhale, this is the consciousness, this is the bhavana, it's what we call the feeling that we work with. We work with bringing the force of the universe in the form of the prana shakti, the goddess. And when we exhale, we bring in consciousness, awareness, in that release. Every breath in, every breath out. This is peak practice, 24-7. Meditation, 24-7 on the breath. It's just simply that. Bringing the energy in, releasing the energy, inviting consciousness in. So we're going to work with the heart. We're going to work with opening the heart and releasing the capacity of the ocean of vastness that exists in the center of our being. This is the central chakra. The anahat, the unstruck cord, the divine sound current lives here. This is the heart. this is the spot of healing, the place of healing in the body. Yeah? And the only way this can open is if this is strong. Yeah? So there's no way your heart can be open if you've got no strong, solid base to your life and to your being. So we work not only on opening the heart in the Kriya that we're going to do, but we work on really strengthening the base chakras. Bringing in the earth element, that's your base chakra, your anal chakra. Bringing in the fluid flow of water, which is the sexual chakra. Bringing in the fire of your being, that's the navel chakra. Harnessing those three elements allows for the anahat to emerge, the unstruck sound. The divine sound current that lives in your heart all the time and which when you tune into it, will whisper the truth of your being consistently into your ears. Okay, so we'll start with the first Kriya. We don't have to warm up for this because the Kriya in itself has warm-ups. So the arms are raised up at 60 degrees. 60 degrees, not 45. Yes, 45, 60, 90, 60, 45, 30, and flat. 60 degrees. I don't want to see these arms, teachers. 60 degrees, drop the shoulders and open the heart. So pull the shoulder blades apart behind. Because the second you do that, when you pull the shoulder blades apart, you're opening. Look at the difference between this posture, where my shoulder blades are squashed. It's squashing my heart. You can keep your arms up. <laughs> and this posture, where you're pulling it down and you're opening the heart. Immediately the whole being is ignited. There's this burst of energy and you can hold your arms up. So now we do breath of fire with this. Yes? Those of you who know how to do breath of fire, you may begin. Those of you who don't know how to do breath of fire, just stick your tongue out and pant. It's the same action. And feel the belly pumping. Remember we are drop your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are not up around your ears. The second your, your, your shoulders are up around your ears, you're shutting down the heart. Close your eyes, focus on the third eye, and pump the belly. We're going to do four times for this Kriya because there's a lot of relaxation built into the Kriya. Drop your shoulders, straighten your elbows. The straighter your elbows, the more impact you're having on your magnetic field, on your energy bodies that surround your heart. And try to maintain a steady rhythm. The secret to Kundalini Yoga is rhythm and sound. So get into a rhythm and stay with the rhythm. Don't drop the rhythm. So don't go fast, 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 then stop. Fast, 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 then stop. Maintain a steady pace that you can maintain for a full few minutes.
feel the element of fire building. Straight elbows, straight elbows. The straighter your elbows, the more powerfully effective this is. Channel the energy from the cosmos into the hands, the chakras in the fingertips and the hands, straight down into the heart. And from below, channeling the energy from the base triangle <coughs> up into the heart with a pumping of the metal. Keep it up. Steady rhythm. Find a rhythm and stick with it. The palms face one another, the arms are dead straight. Drop your shoulders down your back and feel the heart open. And inhale deep, hold that breath and pump your stomach 16 times. Count it. I don't want to hear any breath because your breath is held. When you are complete with the 16 pumps, you exhale. And begin again. Inhale, hold deep, keep the arms up and pump. 16 pumps, be exact. Pull that energy up to the heart. In your own rhythm of the cycle of, re of breathing, 16 pumps on the held inhalation, exhale, begin again. Powerful pumps of the navel, pull the navel back towards the spine. Ignite the cauldron that you have in the center of your belly. Sixty seconds, keep it up. Break through those barriers, the limitations, the sloth, the torpor, the in immobility. Break through. Use the fire. <laughs> Last thirty seconds. Make this your last one. Complete the cycle. Take a deep inhale. Squeeze your whole body. Stretch, straight, 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 straight elbows. Just for these last three seconds. Straight, stretch, squeeze. And release. <laughs> exhale. Relax your arms. Immediately come sitting on your heels. Sit on your heels. If you struggle to sit on your heels, we have cushions and blankets that you can use to help you sit. Nobody seems to be struggling. So sitting on the heels, stretch your arms out parallel to the ground and let your wrists hang limp. Chin is parallel to the floor, dropping the shoulders, roll the shoulders down and back and stretch them apart and begin breath of fire. Strong, potent breath of fire. Stay completely internal. The cushions, you need the cushions? Yeah. Now we get the arms up parallel to the ground. No matter what angle you are holding, try to visualize yourself moving to a parallel angle, parallel to the floor. You have heart meridians which stretch from your baby finger right through the heart and channeling the energy not only from 
the hands into the heart, but also from base chakra, from sex chakra and from navel chakra, up through the breath into the heart. You come to the navel and use the breath. The more the heart opens. The more the heart opens, the more you access the vastness within you. Breath to power you, to raise your pranic body, raise the prana in your body. Stretch the shoulder blades apart. Stretch into the backs of the wrists. Leave the fingers limp. Last 30 seconds. Feel the energy golden. Inhale deep, hold the breath, tighten root lock, channel genital navel muscles, squeeze, hold the arms up, hold, hold, squeeze, and exhale, <laughs> relax the arms down. Those of you who need to stretch your legs out, do so. We're going to come back onto the heels. Stretch your knees wide apart, as wide as you can. And then put your hands back on the floor 60, at a 60 degree angle. So you're kind of at this angle. You're going to go to 30 degrees just now. And drop your head back. For those of you who struggle with neck issues, you can protect your neck a little bit. The more you open up your heart and push your chest out, the easier it is to stretch the head back without putting strain on the neck. Inhale deep, hold the breath and pump for as long as you can hold that breath. If you're on your cycle, no holding of the breath. Obviously pregnancy too, no pumping of the navel, just long deep breathing. As long as you can hold your breath. If it's too sore to sit on your heels, just stretch your legs in front of you. Stretch them out straight and just lean back. That's it. Lean back and do the same thing. Behind you, 60 degree angle, good. Deep inhalation, holding the breath, pumping the navel for as long as you can hold your breath. Exhaling and beginning again. You're encouraging the energy to rush up through the thyroid, the parathyroid, stimulating the heart. This brings a radiance to your face.
Just do the best that you can, especially with the neck. Finish this breath cycle that you're on and when you've completed this slide out to 30 degree angles so you're almost flat you slide your hands further back you're still on your heels if you can manage it and head back 30 degree angles so way more powerful Lexi Lexi stay at 60 and head drop back, again the same thing, inhale deep, hold the breath, pump the navel for as long as you can, hold your breath and try to endure the discomfort, endure it by pulling your shoulder blades apart, giving your body the support it needs, maybe giving the neck a rest every now and again. opening up the heart to the best that you can. It's very powerful to your best in it. You're raising an enormous amount of energy through the pump, harnessing the power of your breathing, bringing the energy of the base triangle up into the heart. All your inhibitions, all your limitations, all your addictions, everything that holds you back from your own power, you're burning through it. So endure the discomfort. It is worth it. Do your best. Make this your last cycle and the best one. And slowly come out of it when you've completed this last breath. Keep your knees spread wide open. And go into good pranam, putting your third eye on the ground, your arms spread straight in front of you between your wide open knees, hands in prayer mudra. Give yourself the space between your legs. Stretch your heart down to the ground and long deep breathing. Now you can feel the base triangle from a different angle. Feel the base triangle drawing on the energies of the earth, sucking them up into the sex chakra, into the anal chakra. Use the power of your breath to mix them, swirl them around. Continue with a long deep breathing and deepen your breath now.
pulling in a full deep complete yogic breath right down into the base of the triangle and up to the collarbones through the ribcage feel the prana shakti thundering in listen to your breathing Deepen your breath. Slightly close the glottis in your throat so that you can hear your breath like a wave coming in. Now we, I'm going to chant, we'll do call and response, just copy me. Um, um. Spread them slightly and then reach 
reach forward, grab hold of wherever you can and stretch into light nerve stretch, forward stretch, and hold and breathe. If you cannot reach your toes, you hold your knees or your thighs as long as your back is straight and your neck is in line with your spine. Nice deep breathing, spreading your legs a little bit. This is a relaxation pose, stretching out the life nerve in the back of the legs. It's your Kundalini nerve. meridians running from the backs of the heels, from the toes actually, all the way right up to the top of the head. Last deep breath in, exhale, hold them out, pull root lock, hold the breath out, pull root lock, stretch, last little stretch on empty lungs, and inhale and relax. And we're going to go straight into back platform pose, so your legs are straight in front of you, hands are on the floor behind you, pointing towards your toes, lift up, that's it, and drop your head back, actually keep your neck in line with your spine, so don't drop it all the way back, just keep your neck in line with your spine, uh, legs in line. hold, breath of fire, so your head can be dropped back, but not all the way back. Yeah, yeah. So, so open the throat, keep the neck in line with the spine. Good. Try to get your body in one straight line. Breath of fire. This is a very powerful exercise. Now keeping the breath of fire going, begin walking your legs apart, keeping the breath of fire going, don't let your butt drop towards the floor, keep it up and keep walking them back together again, apart and together, apart and together, keep it up, walk them until they spread wide apart, if you have space. Last 10 seconds, you haven't got long to go, do your best. Hug the navel and walk apart. And come back together again. Drop down and immediately go into a forward stretch. Stretch forward, hold. And breathe. Stretching as far forward as you can, trying to get your belly button towards your thighs. Try to get the lower back, the belly button, the lower abdomen down. Don't worry about the rest. You're wanting to stretch out that lower back. Keep the legs straight, the knees and the elbows as straight as you can get them. Keep breathing. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep working in the posture. Keep stretching. And hold your breath. Long, deep breathing. And then come lying down on your back. Just a little short relaxation. The Kriya is full of these little short relaxations. Make the most of it. So let go as thoroughly and completely as you can for three minutes, just allowing yourself to release into the floor.
release as thoroughly as you can. Your hands are facing upwards so that nothing is touching your fingertips so that your brain can relax. As you exhale, bring your knees into your chest and hug them in tight. Rock from side to side. Nose between your knees, rock forwards and backwards if you can. Or if you don't feel like doing that today, just roll over from your side and sit up. So this next posture is called Maha Mudra and it is one of the most powerful Kriyas. It can be done on its own, standalone Kriya. We only do it on one side. It's one of the asymmetrical Kundalini poses that works specifically on one side of the body to create an effect. So we come sitting on the left heel and you stretch your right leg straight in front of you. You're going to reach forward and grab hold of your toe with your right hand and your heel with your left hand. If you cannot do this, you will do whatever you can approximating this. So your, your spine is stretched straight forward. You tuck your chin in as far as you can and you look at your big toe. So the eyes are raised. You stretch forward. If you can, you can come all the way down. But still, if your chin is tucked in, you can only come down as far as you can still keep your eyes on your big toes. So you've got an incredible pressure here, which is one of the points of the exercise. So you're stretching that spine straight, tucking the chin in, looking there, inhale deep, exhale all the way out, and pull root lock, diaphragm lock, and you're already in chin lock. So you're going to suck your diaphragm up under the cavity of the ribs, hold it there for eight seconds, and then release and begin again. Inhale deep, exhale all the way out, hold the breath out, suck the energy, the diaphragm up under the rib cage, pull root lock and genital navel muscles, and hold for eight seconds. <coughs> so very powerful, it's called Mahamudra. Very, very powerful raising and unblocking of lower chakra energies and pulling them up, creating clarity in the heart. You need a cushion under your left heel. No Mahamudra if you have your if you're on your period. And obviously if you're pregnant. to support yourself. You want to get the effects of the of the Kriya. That's good. Keep that breath going. The breath cycle is really important. Keeping the breath out for eight seconds and keeping the eyes fixed on the big toe and pulling the locks. Maha means great. Mudra is a power 
symbol. Last minute. Look deep and strong. We are in fact pulling Mahabant, the great lock. Make sure you're sitting on the left heel and stretching the right side. Complete the cycle that you're on and then come lying on your back. Deep relaxation for five minutes. Make the most of it.
Begin breath of fire. Strong pump if you're on your cycle, you'll do long deep breathing. Straight knee right up to 90 degrees. Pull that leg up, flex your foot, create power in the leg from the base chakra. It's like your area from the base chakra. Stick it straight up, the straighter the aerial, the truer the message. Nice powerful pump of the navel, another 20 seconds before you change sides. Make sure that your navel is pulling back on the exhale. Pulling back towards the spine on the exhale. And switch legs. And right leg up. And breath of fire. Thirty centimeters with breath of fire. Also for a mat. Nice powerful pump. Head on the floor. Feet up. Just one leg if you're on your cycle. 
for 30 centimeters off the floor, arms, try to keep the lower back as flat as you can, yeah? You don't want your lower back to leave the ground. If your lower back is off the ground, you need to put your hands under your back. But try to keep your hands over your head so that you really get that power effect in the navel. The more powerful your base chakra elements are, the stronger the fire, the more the flow of the water, the more solid and stable the earth element, the more your heart opens. Because you have the capacity to stand strong. Last 10 seconds, make it count. Inhale, hold, squeeze. Exhale, release. And relax again. Just rest your body. Let the earth hold you up. Hands next to your body on the floor. Arms facing up. Just rest. into shoulder stand, all the way up, except if you're on your cycle, and you just relax. Spread your legs as wide apart as you can and begin breath of fire. A strong breath of fire, yeah, we really are coming up to the end of the Kriya, Bring that energy powerfully into the heart. Really impacting the thyroid and working with bringing all the energy we raised into the heart. is one of those kriyas where we break up the relaxation into little pieces all the way through the kriya to allow you to integrate the impact of each exercise. Yeah. 
How to get your legs spread as wide as possible. much as you can. Try to get coming right onto the tops of your shoulders. That's it. Straightening the body right on the tops of the shoulders. So all the weight of your body is not on your neck. It's on your shoulders.
así. Exhale. Bring your arms up to 90 degrees, palms facing each other. Your head stays on the floor. Inhale, lift both your legs up to 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Exhale, lift, drop your legs, lift your head and put your chin on your chest. So inhale, lift your legs, exhale, lift your head. Inhale, lift your legs, exhale, lift your head. Exhale, lift your head, put your chin on your chest. Inhale, lift your legs, one leg if you're on your cycle. Exhale, put your chin on your chest, drop your legs. Your legs are on the floor when your head is up. Your head is on the floor when your legs are up. Develop a nice steady rhythm. Press your chin to your chest so you squeeze the thyroid. Steady rhythm. Feel the fulcrum point at the heart. Your palms are facing each other, fingers are nice and stretched, relaxed and stretched. No tension. Harness the power in your navel. By doing this, we burn through ego fragmentation. When the ego fragments, we can't face life. We have no courage. We have broken heart. Last minute. Make it work for you. Really use the power in your body to get the energy flowing freely, openly, creating union in your body. Not fragmentation. Last 30 seconds. Keep it up. Let your body burn. Raise the temperature of your body. Deliberately consciously. Raise temperature and the body kills cancer cells. Either your legs are up or your head is up, not at the same time. Last one. And relax. Relax the body. We're relaxing again for two minutes. Let your body rest. Make the most of these rest periods so your body can integrate what has happened.
into a place of stillness. The body is burning, let it burn. If your body is cold, please cover yourself. in and as you exhale bring your knees up into your chest and rock from side to side gently lovingly letting the earth massage your lower back and then rocking forwards and backwards a few times please come sitting up Sitting in easy pose, grasp your elbows, opposite elbows with your hands. So you, you're hugging, you're creating a frame for your heart. Just feel that frame for a second and then begin to do the symbol of infinity, a figure eight lying on its side, going in one direction and after 30 seconds we'll go in the other direction. Spreading all of that energy right throughout your auras, your aura, your energy bodies, bringing the fluid up into the brain. Please begin. Make a perfect symbol of infinity lying on its side and begin now to change direction. Do it in the other side to the other direction. If you hear crunching in your neck, go more slowly. you on. And come to the center. And you're going to inhale and bow to the ground. And exhale. Come up as fast as you can. <laughs> inhale, bow, exhale. Quickly up ten times. When you've completed your 10 times, you relax your arms and sit in meditation posture. with Yogi Bhajan, God and me, me and God are one. God and me, me and God are one. God 
and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. God and me. Me and God are one. out and pull maha band, genitals, anal muscles, navel muscles, pull the diaphragm up under the ribs and pull your chin back towards the base of the brain. Suck the energy up on empty lungs. Inhale when you have to and relax. And bring your hands into prayer mudra. And take a deep breath in. As you exhale, follow my movements. Open your hands, like as if you're opening the pages of a book. Keep opening, turn the mudra upside down. And at the end of the exhale, your hands are stretched all the way in front of you. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, bring them back and create a lotus at the heart. And again, inhale. As you exhale, open up, open up the prayer mudra, open up the heart, go to the extremes. Feel that energy, inhale here, bring the energy in. And come back towards the heart and the exhale and open up into a lotus. And again, inhale, deep, feel what you do. Bring in the energy through the breath. 
opening up the heart is sometimes really hard work. Feel how awkward it is when you turn the mudra upside down, inside out, stretching to the very limits of your being. Inhale here, bringing more energy. Come back towards the heart and open up into the lotus. Keep going. Do it with the breathing. Feel so how you support yourself when you extend it to the very, very limits of your endurance. You bring it in the energy back to your heart. And the heart blossoms into a lotus. Really feeling what you're doing with your heart chakra. And then you've completed your third one. into this mudra, pointing the fingers towards the corners of the room in front of you, not behind. Make sure you have your hands at a 40 degree angle, the fit fingers are tight, palms are flat, so that the hands are energized, don't point the hands backwards, point them forwards. And every time you hear the heart, you're going to chant her and flex the heart forward and then take it back. And flex the heart forward with her her. 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 Wait for her. Bye. 
in your psyche, burning through obstacles in your body and in your spirit. Exhale, <laughs> one more time, inhale deep, hold the breath and let that fire rise so that the way in front of you is clear. Feel the open heart and exhale. <laughs> and Hold it, consolidate the open heart position. Pull the shoulder blades back. Raise the chest up, extend that heart right out into the universe beyond the boundaries of your body. And exhale. <laughs> Relax, bring your hands into prayer mudra. One last time, inhale deep. As you exhale, open the heart. Extend outwards. 
into the universe, inside out. Inhale in that position, gathering your energy and bringing that back to the heart and blossoming into the light. so we can end the class.
and the wisdom that lies within always be your inner teacher. Please repeat after me. I honor and I respect my heart, my heart, my inner teacher. My inner teacher. I honor and respect and respect my heart. I honor and respect my heart, my inner teacher.